What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we're talking lightweight, budget-friendly, run-and-gun turkey decoys. Stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see here, we got the Primos photo form decoys. Now it says right on the box, as you can see right here, they weigh in at 13 ounces a piece. Uh, they are extremely light. Now, let me see if I can't get these stacked up. Gotta go like this, like that, like that. There they are. Okay, so there's all three. This was actually a, a pack deal on Rogers, which it had a rebate, so I got these extremely cheap. But you can see the top. We have the Photoform Jake which it's slightly bigger, weighs in at 15 ounces. And then the package came with two photo form hens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these out. We're gonna look at them. Uh, I just started doing some decoy reviews. I personally like DSD. Um, I really like the DSD lead hen. I think it's the best decoy on the market today, still do. Uh, I've tested a couple different decoys now. You've seen the SX decoys, fully flocked turkey decoys. Uh, now we're testing these. I've tested, I have pretty much every DSD that's owned, or that's made, I should say. On top of that, I have the Higdon Apex Strutter, and now I'm looking at this. So that's, that's everything. You have a steak that looks just like the funky chicken. By the way, I have a funky chicken too. Then the decoy, which as you can see, oh my god, there ain't nothing to this. I mean, this thing is like, what is this? Is that a straw? They put a freaking straw in there. Did you look at that? It looks like the old son got a McDonald's sweet tea before he came to me. Interesting. Better, very interesting. Okay, so this is how it looks. There's the head. Yep. Actually, to be fair, it does not look bad. I mean, it's a little glary, but it does not look bad. Now, let me throw the stoic down here. Which way? Comes with a protective thing. Steak is in the ground. Now, let's flare this son of a gun out. It does have three different positions based on how you use your zippers. That I do know. So you reach in, and then it's just foam, clearly. You reach in, pop this joker outward. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Then you can tuck the fan or open it, and it will hold, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but you can have this however you want it. I would just flare it out if it was me. That way you get the biggest presentation. Let me turn the camera here so we can get the sun in this. Okay, now she'll look better. Well, he'll look better, sorry. Although it is 2022, so who knows what this joker wants to be. But you can see on here, this is actually a 3D printed picture of a Jake turkey. And it's put onto this. And really, it, it's not terrible. I, I had my extreme doubts when I purchased these. Um, I didn't think they'd look that good. I didn't think they'd be real. Um, but really, for the lightweight... If you're hunting public land or you're hunting, you know, or a tighter budget, whatever it is, this head and this look to them, it actually isn't bad. But we'll see what the turkeys say. That's all that matters. Okay, so I may be doing this completely wrong. This is my first time with this decoy. But I see this. You could put him so he's like, you would zip up the bottom. You can have him like this and just kind of turn his head. That way he kind of looks... Just content. Really, he does not look terrible. I mean, you can see the fan is out. The feathers actually look better from afar. The head isn't the best thing I've ever seen, but it's not bad. And then once I cut that little McDonald's sweet tea straw, we'll be in the game. But you can see right there, I mean, zoomed out. A Tom or a Tom sees that or a hen or a Jake or whatever, they're gonna they're gonna think they're okay and they're gonna come check it out. 
So that actually does not look bad. I'm beyond shocked here. Okay, so might as well just keep the camera here. So now the Jake is on the ground. He's attracting Tom Gobblers as we speak. Uh, let's get a hen out. Let's see, because my favorite decoy situation is a Jake and a hen. Uh, depending on the season, well, I should say, depending on what, perfect. Depending on what time of season it is, if it's early, middle, late, Also, if I'm hunting public land, private land, all that comes into play what I want to use. So the steak is the same thing. They have this extremely heavy duty steak for a decoy that weighs like the wind would blow this way. Now on this, the head, I don't think it looks that good. Uh, to me, it does not look like a turkey. It looks like a, a gargoyle or a demon. Of course, hen turkeys are gargoyle de demons, so I mean, Kind of fits, but I'm trying to get them in the sun here. But I don't know. I do like the eyes. They get a little bit of a glare to them. But same situation as the other decoy. You can just kind of fold this fan out. I would recommend keeping that out. I'd want this to be as close to life size as possible, especially with the hen. You're not going to scare away a tom gobbler with. Uh, a hen, so might scare away his girlfriend, but so there's the hen. I wish you could adjust the head. That's the only thing I wish, because if you could get this head so it was like tucked back without messing up the whole body, that'd be the ticket. But that's how it looks. You can see the detail in the feathers. And then that's where it's sewn right there. But I mean, these are extremely light decoys. So really, it's not the best looking decoy I've ever seen. It's not a durable decoy. If you shoot this with TSS or your bow, it's done. So there's that. But for a lightweight decoy, it does not look terrible. The stake does not allow the decoy to go all the way around. It's got quite a, I mean, that's about 270. It's almost full circle, but. So I'm gonna get this set up with the other Jake. I'll do what I did in the SX video. We'll take a step back. We'll use the camera, zoom in, check it all out and see what we think of these. And uh, I'll come up with my final first impression opinion. My average decoy distance from myself, uh, it varies but I would say this is about average. You can see, and I mean from here, you can't tell anything that would be bad. And then you can zoom in, still they look like turkeys to me. Now I will notice that the head on that hen, I really don't think that hen looks very good. The Jake, however, looks really good. I don't like the zippers being hanging there. I think there's a better uh, method they could have used for that, but it is just a cheap decoy. And if you have this in rye grass or something like that, they ain't going to see that. But you can see, you know, the hen, they actually don't look terrible. I mean, have I seen better? Yeah. Is everything I own better looking? Yes. But to have that lightweight option, where I could throw a Jake and two hens in and just go. This really isn't bad. I do wish you could adjust the head positions. Uh, you can see here how little wind it takes to actually move these. We have a barely any breeze. And that Jake's swaying a little bit. Not too much, but it, that's all it takes sometimes is a little bit of movement. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Turkey season's starting to wind down everywhere. Uh, we have two weeks left. It might go to Maine. We're trying to figure everything out right now, what we want to do. I'm trying to sneak to Vermont or Maine. And uh, we may not get that in. But I'm going to start doing gear reviews, stuff like this. Uh, this video is more of the run and gun budget friendly. Now, personally, myself, I run and gun. My version of decoys is I take the lead hen, and that's it. DSD lead hen. It's light, it's lethal, and it's the perfect package because you don't need a Jake. It's just perfect. 
but these I would not be opposed based on how these look I would not be opposed to hunt with these decoys I really wouldn't uh, from the distance a turkey sees that he sees a turkey it does look really good on the website it looked like crap but for the price i had to put it on the channel drop your comments below let me know what you guys saw if you run these decoys let me know if they work a field for you we are going to be testing these in the limited time i have left i'll have to hang up my dsds i want to test the sx the montanas you'll see that video soon and uh these primos I, I was trying to save this to the end of the video i'm going to be giving a pack like this away so all you have to do to enter it's very simple smash the thumbs up button on this video share this video to your favorite turkey groups drop a comment below saying done if you'd use these or no and why and make sure you're subscribed publicly subscribed and I will post a video on how to do that now that I figured it out me and another subscriber actually broke it down figured it out so once again to win the Jake and two hens all you have to do, smash the thumbs up button on this video. Make sure you're publicly subscribed. I will drop a video showing you how to do that too. So it's just there. Share this video to your favorite turkey groups or just your Facebook. Tag us in it. Comment done below. Let us know if you would use these or not. And your deciding factor upon that decision. That's it. Very simple. Uh, we'll run this. I'll pin the comment below for the deadline of the giveaway. It'll probably be after turkey season. We do have a couple decoy giveaways coming up. Uh, just want to kick back a little bit more. This is a fun one. I mean, as I've been talking to you, the decoys are moving in the wind. But guys, that's it. You could win. Make sure you get entered to win this. Share this with your buddies. And uh, drop your comments below. Let, it, let me know what you thought of these, if you'd use them. All the good stuff. Just get entered so I can give away a set of these, and we'll go from there. But overall, first impression, not too shabby. I would hunt with them. Uh, they'd have their place, though, that's for sure. If I can use DSDs, that's what I'd go with, but that's just me. If, you, if I was serious about lowering down the weight, these might be the option, or the Montanas. We'll see soon. But guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. This is the photo form Primos Turkey Pack. It is a Jake and two hens. I got it from Rogers Sporting Goods. And it was a killer deal. Couldn't pass it up. I, I mean, just killer deal. But guys, as always, smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We got a ton of content coming from Broadhead Tests. We're going to keep the turkey pattern series going. We got ballistic gel tests, both broadheads and TSS, steel, bismuth, all the good stuff. We got a ton of stuff coming, long range pattern tests. We got a ton of content coming and the challenge series. So make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned to the channel. I hope you guys had a good season. This is one of the many turkey related giveaways coming. Now that season's closing, unfortunately. That's all I got. Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and we will catch you on the next one.